give people half a second to get in here. Could, is it possible to put a YouTube link in here? Yeah. Do you want me okay. to put, oh, let me put the link to your uh, channel real quick. Okay. Sec. What's going on, guys? Today, we are going to be here with James again. An update on how much he's been selling, because he's <laughs> killing it right now. Give me one sec, guys. I'm grabbing his link real quick. Guess everyone's slow today. No one wants to come hang out. Sleeping. Sleeping on the wheel. See, boom. You need more videos. I know. All right, I'm going to put one up tomorrow when some of these ticks go up. There we go. We're all good. Let's make sure. Let me tell Facebook real quick. Okay. Okay. Should be good here. Sweet. Let's see. Give these people a second. There we go. Kelvin first again. Uh oh. Whoa. What's up, guys? Got some speed. Oh, I gotta. I'm not even sharing my screen. I'm a noob. Hold on. <laughs> Playing the drums or what? You can hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's on my chair. I thought it was James Bowen. It is. Did I spell his name wrong? Holy man. Wait, did I spell it wrong? Oh, no. It looks right. <laughs> I thought it was James Brown. What's up, guys? We're going to be doing an update on James's success because there's a lot of it. So, just bought the course. There we go. What's up? What's up? All right, guys, we're just going to jump into this whiteboard gang. Yeah, James, you want to show them your whiteboard real quick? What's on there? One million, one million, one million. Those are goals, not sales. I wish. One day. Very soon. <laughs> so, okay, we should be good to go. What does PPC mean? So he's making 3K a day? <laughs> no, he's not. All right, James, why don't, no. why don't you give the new people a little background on who you are, when you started, and everything? Sure. Um, about two months ago, I was a back server at a local restaurant, um, polishing glasses, plates, all that garbage. I um, was making roughly 700 every two weeks if I grinded out 40 hours a week. Um, quit that, found tennis course, and we went through it. Amazing. Learned a lot of good content. Had zero experience in selling. Um, and then we got products in roughly three, four weeks after I took the course. As soon as I got the course, I went out and found a product in three days and then went straight into products. I was, I was really quick. I wasn't slow about it. Um, and then I've been selling for roughly 25 days now. And things are rocking and rolling. Um, right now, we're doing about uh, thirteen to fifteen hundred in sales, uh, in in profit a day, and then minus roughly two to three hundred in ad costs a day. So it's roughly on a bad day, it's a thousand dollars profit, and then on a good day, it's anywhere from twelve hundred to thirteen hundred a day. So so 30, dramatically changed my life. Yeah. Thirty to forty thousand profit a month. Yeah, one product, my first product. Uh, like I said before, guys, I had no experience in Amazon selling or selling at all, and everything I learned from the course, and it's just been crazy. Changed my life. I'm moving to Vancouver in, uh, in 10 days now, so that's all from the course. So it's revolutionized my life for sure. The question is, uh, when are you getting a Lamborghini? That's the real question. I was actually thinking about getting a <laughs> helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I gotta. I'm trying to build this business first, and then uh, once things are rolling, then we'll see what happens. But 
Soon. A couple more products in there. Yeah, give me like 30 days. <laughs> okay. How much money did you start with, people are asking? Okay, I started with about 2200 Canadian, and that was roughly 1500 US. So what's the one issue you've been encountering since you started? Running out of product. It's been terrible. I can't keep up with the products, and that's been really hurting sales. Um, but lesson learned, we're growing, we're getting on top of it. But just figuring out the little things and running out of inventory is... is... So what you've been doing is selling all your inventory really quick because you're selling like 130 units a day, you said. Yep. So you're selling out yep. in a week or two, ordering more inventory, higher than the next time. You run out again, ordering again. But now you're almost at the point where you shouldn't run out and you'll be able to keep reordering. Correct, yeah. I mean, like I said, guys, I was uh, working as a back server before. So I actually used all my savings, which is next to nothing, and my tax return to order my first product, and I went all in. So I didn't have a lot of money to keep up with demand, and I didn't know I was going to sell 130 a day. So um, now we're just getting on top of it, like you said, and we I should have enough inventory for 20 days in my next shipment. So hopefully we'll get to a month soon. So you haven't taken any money out. It's all been reinvested for now. Uh, but you're almost yep. to the point yep. where you can start taking all your profit out because you're going to be at that sticking point for inventory, right? Yeah, no, it, it's great. I mean, if I did take money out, it would be quite a good payday. Um, but like you said, just trying to get to that monthly product inventory range and then I can start taking a pretty good salary out. Someone's asking, what was your second investment? So how much did you pay? Um for your second order, again, guys, mind you, he reinvested from the first one. He didn't just have more cash on hand. Yeah, well, my my first shipment went through, as I said, it was like twenty two hundred, and then I actually had to borrow money uh, for my for my second shipment um, because I ran out in uh, six days and I ordered more on the second or third day, and I was like, I need more shipment. So I talked to my buddy. He gave me some money, paid him back, and then this next shipment was just over four grand Canadian. So uh, it's roughly, I don't know, 3,300 US. Got it. But uh, yeah, didn't take any money out, just putting it all back in. Gotcha. So let's see. What's your profit margin? So how much do you sell for and what is the profit? My prop, my, I'm selling for fourteen ninety seven. Uh, after Amazon fees and manufacturing fees, it's roughly a nine ten dollar profit. Um, depending on my price, I change my price quite a bit depending on what time of day it is, and it fluctuates between a nine and ten dollar. Gotcha. Ooh, this is a good one. So, have you encountered hijackers? And if you have, how did you fix that or combat that? I have not encountered a hijacker. I have been waiting for one. I'm ready to come through them, but nothing yet. Really? Yeah, no hijackers. Okay. Zero. Okay, no hijackers, I, I guess. <laughs> James, your best student? One of them, yes. Oh, that's a good one. What's your favorite type of bread? <laughs> um, multi grain. Multi grain is the best. God. All right. Slap that butter on, a little peanut butter. All right, let's go. Let's go into your pay-per-click. So, how much are you spending a day? Uh, what's kind of your conversion rate, if you know? So, spend X amount, get X amount of profit. And what's the strategy you've been using for PPC? Is it any different from what you're doing before? Yeah, it was. it's actually really weird. Um, the first time I ran out of products, I didn't do any manual campaigns. It was all automatic, and uh, I was selling great. Um, but this time around... When I got new inventory back in, I set up the same man or automatic campaigns, and I wasn't selling that great. I was, I was doing like 40, 60 units a day. I thought that was how it was going to be. And then uh, I pulled out a the data from the automatic campaign, and I found it all in um, – I put it all in a spreadsheet, and I organized it from best ranking keywords down to least ranking. And I put four keywords into the manual campaign, and I click run. Um, I up my budget dramatically. It's three hundred dollars a day for for my budget. It doesn't hit that. It normally runs out around two seventeen, um, but now we're doing a hundred, hundred and thirty plus a day. Um, so huge, huge difference just from our pay per click campaign. And that money from the pay per click doesn't come out of your pocket that day. It comes out of how much you get paid in two weeks, correct? Correct. Yeah. And, uh, it's, it's a really good investment if you figure it out right. 
Um, right now, like I said, I'm, I'm investing roughly a $217 a day investment. Um, and then I make like 1200 back. So no, sorry. I make like a, like thousand bucks back off that investment. So gotcha. it's a uh, good, good turnover. Rate. So someone said real yeah, question. So that's how you tripled your sales overnight. Cause that's kind of what I titled this video. I stole your title. Uh, for those of you that don't that's already right. go subscribe to James. He's the first link in the description. But I stole his title um, because he said how I tripled my sales overnight. So that is how he did it, CJ. Yeah. How competitive yeah, so was just the to touch on that? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, just touch on that because uh, the day before I did forty-five sales, and then I cranked open the manual campaign and upped the budget, and then the next day I did one hundred and thirty-six. So that's how I tripled my sales, and it was all from my pay-per-click strategy that my buddy John elaborated with. He's watching. I know he's, he's texting me. So gotcha. How competitive was the product when you found it? Pretty competitive. It's fairly new, so there wasn't too many reviews, but there were some kicking around the hundred range, and then the rest were pretty pretty low, under fifty. But a lot of sellers. Someone asked, "Are you using any paid software programs or tools?" Nope, nothing. Just jump. Just jump. Yeah. James is the new Tanner. Hey, watch it. <laughs> Uh, always be student. Did James run his product by me? Yes, he did. What are your profit margins? Someone's asking. So yours, his are like 55, 60 percent. Let's see. Let's see. Did you register your business before you started selling? No, nope, still haven't done that. I need to do it. I spent literally every penny on new inventory. Um, after. My next paycheck from Amazon, I should probably do that. Yes, Jungle Scout is 100% needed, guys. Otherwise, you're guessing. Said it was fairly new. That sounds very weird, just to let you know you can hear that. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's a chair, I promise. I promise. Sure, sure. All right, guys, do you have any more questions for him? Is your product patented or patent pending? No, his is not. I know his product. Will, will James be in the entrepreneurship house? Might drop in there sometime and say what's up. But uh, <laughs> it's south of the border, so. Let's see. Just Jungle Scout is used, no other apps. That's great. Okay, what'd you do for your back end keywords on your listing? Right, so basically you use the, tool, uh, the keyword tools that are provided in the course. Um, they're websites. You basically type in the broad keyword in those tools, and you collect a whole bunch of data. And then you basically compile that information into a Word document and then copy and paste it into your keyword selections in the back end. Sure. Yeah. How did you uh, make your label? How did you create it? Did you use Fiverr? Label meaning listing? Like a um, logo. Oh, yeah, I use Fiverr. Yeah. Yeah, Fiverr. Just a cheap logo. It wasn't anything crazy. Just something to steal the buybacks or own the buy box. And then I assume you did it this way. Someone's asking, did you ever touch the proc or did it go straight to Amazon from your supplier? It went straight to Amazon from the supplier, uh, which was a mistake. If I had more time, I definitely recommend getting a sample. Um, it's just not worth bad reviews that come along with a crappy product um but my next my next uh product i will be getting a sample beforehand you say you picked a competitive product did it fall within the tanner guidelines for searching products sure did yeah it was just that on steroids i mean it was it was perfect it was like the golden product that you would see um yeah are you, are you selling on just canada are you selling on the u.s as well just Canada for now. Uh, just chatting with Tanner about getting into the U.S., and that will happen soon. But for now, just building up the inventory, getting ahead of it, and uh, rolling in Canada. Sean says hi, by the way. Um, How did you get your There's initial it. reviews? Initial reviews came from friends and family. How many do you have now, and how many did you start with? I have 36 reviews, and I started with nine. Can we see your Amazon app? 
How many sales are you at today? You want to see it? Yeah. All right. I'll bring it up. I'll bring it up. Let me, let me refresh this so we're up to date. All right. So these, it shows my last 30 days in sales. If you look at the beginning, you'll see that I didn't start selling at the beginning of April. I started around April 4th. So, oh, oh, wait. Huh? See, so we're at 56 units today. Those are some spikes that show you what I've been doing in the previous amount of time. And yeah, the middle gap is when I ran out of inventory. And yeah, but now we're, we're rocking and rolling. So, Do you use an email automation tool for reviews? Do you use JumpSend? Uh, I don't use JumpSend. I need to start doing that. I was scared at first because I had a bad batch of products, so I didn't want to publicly push bad reviews if I was getting them. So I stayed away, but now that everything is good, I will start using it. All right. One last thing. What? Why don't you share the um, one strategy you're using with pay-per-click that you just recently started that you found kind of took your budget farther? Sure. Um, before, I was just kind of pressing run, and it would run. So say I did a week-long campaign. Um, it wouldn't start and stop until the, the week ended. Um, but what I found helpful was I've been pausing my campaign at roughly one o'clock in the morning. And then I've been starting the campaign roughly 4.30 PM. Um, I find a lot of people aren't motivated to buy during the day. So a lot of them are browsing and just, you know, scrolling. Um, so that takes up budget, right? So I found prime time is after four o'clock PM. Um, and then it runs pretty solid all the way through. And then I just pause it when it's not converting any more sales. Um, traffic dies. So um, starting and stopping the campaign, I found stretched my budget a lot farther. Yeah, because you get most of the sales at nighttime, right? Yeah, any, like around 6 to 9 is when the majority of the sales come in. Yeah, most of my products are like that too. Can you sell these products on eBay? Yes, you can if you want. Is your brand generic or is it niche specific? Uh, it's, it's niche specific, but my Amazon account, I need to broaden it up. How long did it take you to rank? So where are you currently ranked? Um, I'm sure your rank has been affected by running out of inventory a lot. Uh, but where are you now? Yeah. Yeah, um, I started on page eight, and now I'm bouncing around between page one and page, like, high on page three uh, for all major keywords. Normally, it's page one and page two. Um, yeah, it, it does. When you run out of inventory, it does hurt a lot. I had the best seller tag, lost it when I ran out of inventory, got it back, though, went to start pumping numbers again. Um, but page one and page two dramatically helps the sales. That's why it's it's important to find a product with low competition so you can get up on page one and page two um, for your products. What are the differences between the U.S. and Canadian Amazon? So U.S. has a lot more demand, uh, but also a lot more competition. Canada has lower demand, but pretty low competition. It's just finding a product with enough demand. How much do you spend on PPC a day? I know we've answered this. He says about $200 to $300, guys. But that comes out of what he gets paid. His campaigns are profitable, so he's making money off of it. What are your thoughts on using influencers? I know you have, well, maybe not with Amazon, but you have experience with that, right? Have you tried that I at think, all? Or are you going I to? think influencers are a greatly underrated market. Um, I think influencers are going to be more popular, more in demand soon. Um, they have more, i say, influence than a regular TV ad for a certain product. Um, it just depends on your product, right? So if you're going after uh, an influencer in the motivational category, well, don't sell lawn furniture, right? Don't promote them with lawn furniture because nobody will, will convert. Um, so find an influencer that's niche specific to your product, and that should be a great way to leverage uh, influencers. Now, not every influencer or product will work on with influencers, but if you find the right one, I think they go hand in hand really well. Is demand rising in Canada? Yes, I think a little bit. 
Uh, yes, you can do this from Guatemala. How long did you run your man or your automatic campaign before you switched it to manual? Um, I basically ran it for, I'd say, close to 15 days. I was going to run it first, but I ran an inventory, so there's no point. Um, so for 15 days, including around seven days of time off, I was collecting data, information on keywords, and then switched it to a manual campaign. 15, can I do this with 1K? Yes, you can. 1K is kind of the minimum. Let's see. Let's see. Someone else I want. Did Jungle Scout help you a lot? Uh, it did, and I get a lot of questions, and I think it's a good time to touch on it. Don't just let Jungle Scout influence your product skills, right? You guys, you guys got to make a study of it. You know, Google search products, how to how to find good products for FBA. Uh, watch YouTube videos, make a case of it, right? Brainstorm ideas. I know that's guessing, but every bit helps. So you guys got to make a case for it and do everything and anything possible to find find a product. But Jungle Scout is where I did end up finding product, and it has a lot of good information. Do you have to continue PPC once you're on the first page with the bestseller tag? As long as it's profitable, guys, continue it. There's no reason not to. How long does it take you to get your inventory from the day you order to the day it gets into Amazon? Um, now I'm ordering bigger quantities, so a little bit longer, but not too bad. Like, I think uh, it's like a 10-day window between the day I order to the day they complete the order and till the day it gets into Amazon. So pretty quick, I buy express shipping, a little bit expensive, actually really expensive, but it it's cheaper than losing, you know, five days of sales, right? So yeah. about, a, about a 10 day window. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much all the questions for him. Uh, we're probably going to wrap it up right here. Um, what are your future plans going forward? Sure. Uh, right now, it's just to get ahead of inventory. Uh, that's, that's a huge problem. I need to solve that. And then once I do, I'll be putting most of the, I would say 90% of the money back into new products, expanding, um, getting into the U.S. market to take advantage of the dollar. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Canadian dollar sucks. So just broadening, building, building. I'd love to get to an Amazon business where I'm having like 40 to 50 products, uh, pumping out $100 a day. That's, that's like the ultimate goal and then see where we can go from there. So just expanding into that vision, and uh, yeah. Got it. All right, I'm going to answer some of these questions real quick. Why hit 300K this month? No, I'll probably be about three to 5,000 short of it. Same supplier? Yes, James, using the same supplier. Free shipping? Yes, we use Amazon Fulfillment, so all products have free shipping. How much profit do you expect to make by the end of May? Me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, quite a bit. Um, so right now we're doing like a thousand profit a day, and if I get inventory by the end of May, oh geez, like at least thirty grand profit, at least. Yeah. What's your what? Oh, what's your bid on your manual campaign for keywords? Fifty cents. Fifty cents. Yeah, fifty cents. Two to three hundred dollars yeah, a day. It ranges from fifty. Yeah, it ranges from fifty to seventy. Um, I was dramatically overpaying when I first started. I was paying like a dollar twenty-five to a dollar fifty, and I found out that I was wasting a ton of money. So, yeah, we're sitting fifty cents. Right? No, I've never used Keyword Inspector. <laughs> All right, final question. We're gonna end it. Wait. Uh, yes, you can have a negative balance if you run an aggressive PPC, but if it's profitable, you won't. All right, final question from Zach. Do you drink pulp in your orange juice? Uh. I love pulp with my orange juice. I think it's great. You guys heard it here. That's the key to success. I'll see you guys later. Might do another live stream. See you there. Yes, he is Alibaba. See you guys.